Hello, good morning, good day. What's up, everyone? It's a safety edition of Zach Miller Live. The most entertaining and amazing couple of minutes of your weekday. So it's Monday, episode 56 is here. I'm excited because episode 100 of... The 1004 show is tomorrow. Most people don't know who the guest is yet, but I'll tell you right now, it's the founder of Meat Edgar, Laura Roeder. Super excited to provide that link to you guys. I just rewatched it myself. It's uh, 51 or 56 minutes of glory. It's awesome. I embarrassed myself a little bit, so I'm super excited for that. So you guys will be able to see that starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As you guys can see, I've got my handy-dandy helmet on because safety first, my friends. Safety first. I don't know if I'll keep this on the entire time. It's a blue helmet. I've been riding my bike to the gym recently. And I don't care what they say. The streets where I live are unsafe. They have bike lanes now. It's not enough. You need to have a helmet. It's always funny when you see people riding their bikes without helmets. I don't know. It's just uh, a little crazy. So I posted on my Facebook groups page today this photo that I saw. And it was it was pretty powerful, I thought. Now, the picture is a... I don't even know how to describe this. I guess it's a... Um, it's like a whiteboard outside of business. If you guys are watching, you can see it there. If you want to see it, it's, uh, you can go to facebook.com backslash groups backslash one zero 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 four. And that'll be the page. But what's interesting is it's this whiteboard and the whiteboard says, and it's in quotes, each of these small coffee, $5. Hey, Glenn, what's up, buddy? Small coffee, please. $3. And hello. One small coffee, please. So as you can see, each of those are a little different, a little slightly different. But I think the key here is that if you just go in and are rude, it's five bucks. If you're somewhat nice, small coffee, please, no, better. But then it's, hello, one small coffee, please, and it's, what, $3.25 difference? Yeah, I mean, think about that. There's an, there are businesses that are built off of just being customer service focused or just by being nice. Zappos. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Zappos. It's now bought, it was bought by Amazon, but basically they're an e-commerce giant that sells footwear. Now, if you ask their founder, Tony Shea, out of Vegas, what Zappos is, he's not going to say they're an e-commerce footwear business. He's going to say that they're a customer service business that happens to sell footwear. Really interesting to think that way. So Glenn says, dude, it's Monday already. It is. It's crazy. Glenn went and saw the new Avengers movie this weekend. I know that because he told me he was going to. It was amazing. This is what your hair looks like under a helmet. Safety first, kids. It can save your life. So think about that, right? Think about it. The business of just being polite can really set yourself apart. The business of having people be rude to you when, when you're rude to someone or someone is dissatisfied or pissed off and they take that and that is kind of how you run your business or run whatever you're doing, that's not a good scenario. People remember that. No, 
some people just don't care, right? But in the world that we live in, in the virality of the world that we live in, people are persuaded by feeling good about a situation they're going through. You know, I bet you it's what, 11, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time? Give it 20 minutes. Go walk to your closest Chick-fil-A and see what that line is like. I almost guarantee you there's a 30-minute wait. And people are willing to wait for it. Go to your local McDonald's? Probably not. Think about the words associated with McDonald's. Not just from a food perspective, but from like a customer service perspective. Then think about the words associated with Chick-fil-A from a customer service perspective. Very different. Hmm. See any correlation there? I mean, just by being kind and producing processes that, by creating processes that like encourage positivity, it's so important, right? Oftentimes I, I, I talk to people constantly, either on the phone with people, talked to Glenn last week, uh, texting people, Facebook messaging people, emailing people, scattered all over the place. And people are always like, well, thank you for, um, you know, communicating with me. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, like, it's what you should do. And thanks for being kind and all that stuff. And it's just amazing to me that people don't, don't act like that. And so if you're wondering ways to improve your process, your business, the business that you're working in, your happiness, start being a little more kind. Think about this simple, and I don't even know where this picture was taken. It could be where I live. Who knows? But think about that. Small coffee, $5. Most people, you go into Starbucks, wherever your local, local coffee shop, you know, I have a, I have a small coffee. Cool, it'll be five bucks. Hey, small coffee, please. A little better, three bucks. Hello. You know, actually greeting someone and being like, hey, I'm a human too. You're a human too. Hello, one small coffee, please. And he, I would say that if there's a fourth one, it'd be like, hello in their name. Hello, Glenn. One small coffee, please. And then you respond, thank you. Shoot, probably 50 cents for that coffee. I mean, think about that. What do you think a cup of coffee costs these people? They're still making a killing off the 175, right? But people are just rude. It's unfortunate. I'm reading this book right now. By reading, I mean listening. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. It's very interesting. I like it so far. I'll show you the cover of this. That's this. It's pretty cool. So this book, written by Mark Manson, who I'm, I'm still I'm still unclear um, who this guy is from before, but basically it's like you can only worry about certain things. It's really really interesting. The book is there, but it's basically like people worry about too much stuff. They worry about other people's opinions and all that stuff, and in, in like a, in like a wrong kind of way. And what's interesting, I wasn't thinking about these two being the same, but what's interesting is. People are worrying oftentimes about things that they really have no control over or that really aren't that big of a deal. You know, someone, what's the big deal if someone honks their horn at you while they're driving, right? Are you going to make that become the worst day of your life? No, it's probably not that big of a deal. But if we could think more like, hello, one small coffee, please, which is what I think Mark is really getting towards with this, with his book, I think you're going to see a better life and you can change these things people like i have ups i have downs today i'm an up hopefully all week i'll be an up got a big event on saturday my wife and i are going to my good friend tim and his wife terry are going to maybe i'll see many of you guys there it's called wine fest it's fun you know, it'll be nice out. You see a lot of drunk people there. It's just funny. It's funny to be at events like this. Glenn says, I'm off after 72 hours at the station, running my dogs and catching up on what I planned on doing Saturday. Ha! Ah, behind. Love it. I don't have a crazy to-do list. I just don't. Like, I... I mean, the one thing right now is getting the book finalized. But other than that, like... And we're pretty close in that. 
Like, I would say that there's four parts of the book. Three of the four are done. Waiting on one last part. He also says, hey, Rebecca, how are you? Wonderful to see you. You're right. Being polite costs nothing and may be more rewarding than you ever know. I think it's so true. And so while I'm using these two and that these people would probably never think that these two could be compared to each other, you know, the book, Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. And that's really a book so far. I'm halfway through it, I would say, is about worrying about the things that actually matter. But I believe that you can take a lot of the principles in this book and use it in kind of that picture that I have posted above where it's, I guess, outside a coffee shop and the coffee shop is posting this thing on like on a whiteboard, how expensive their coffee is. And if you, if you say one thing, you get it priced one way. If you're really polite and kind, you get it priced a different way. And I think all too often people live the life of number one, the small coffee, $5, because they just think that their lives need to run super fast and need to go crazy. And like, I, my favorite is like when you're at the grocery store and there's like a long line, people are like, Oh my God. I'm like, well, what else do you have to do? You know, if you don't wait in the five extra minutes here, you're going to wait for that five minutes somewhere else. And maybe that five minutes is going to allow you to not get hit by a car. Like even just like little simple things like that. Like, I don't know, like, it's interesting how so many people will focus on the wrong things. They will focus on things that absolutely aren't going to make an impact at all in their lives. But I mean, think about that, right? Someone beeps the horn at you and then you have like the worst day ever around that. Hey, Greg, what's up, buddy? Long time. Right? So I'm going to, I'm not even going to drive a car today. I'm going to take my bike, got some meetings. A little later, I'm riding my bike to it because it's nice out. Get in the bike lanes. Woo. But let's say that I was in a car and I sit at a stoplight. Someone's going to beep the horn at me. And a lot of people that would be in that situation where the horn is being beeped at them would then go on to have a terrible day. And I think in that case, it's unfortunate that the horn beeped at you. It really is. But just get over it. Don't let it get to you. Right? But then at the same time, like, be freaking kind. Like, don't treat people like crap. Like, I, I held the door for someone, you guys, you lifelong listeners of Zach Miller Live, know that I held the door for people. And people will... Was a dog barking. Hopefully he's okay. These people will stop and be amazed. I remember there was an older lady Saturday. I held the door and she was like five, seven feet away. She's walking in and I just hold the door. So I'm sitting there. I'm not doing anything else. Right? I hold the door. She goes, oh my God, thank you so much. That was very nice of you. So, of course, have a wonderful day. You too. Like, these concepts aren't hard, people. By the way, I've realized this recently, that if you guys watch this live or watch it in video, it's almost like I'm doing something unique on my head every day. Not every day, but often, right? You got the helmet today. This is what helmet hair looks like. Also, not taking a shower. So, I'll take a shower at the gym after I work out. But, you know, I got a swim cap that's coming, hopefully, from Swim Nerd. He was supposed to send that months ago, and he hasn't. But maybe this will be my shtick. Like, this is, what is Zach going to wear on his head today? Or will it be normal? That coffee is cold. So my buddy Tim has done this thing, and I want to know what you guys' opinion are. Do you guys drink coffee out of a cup like this? Out of a cup like this? You know, like a, I don't know, I don't know, kind of coffee mug? Well, apparently, I should find this as I show this. Apparently, he has not cleaned his coffee mug in, like, years. Now, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I might as well because it's it's live and you never know what's going to happen. So, he has his coffee mug. I'm going to find the picture. Now, these are things 
Okay, yeah, here it is. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to it. We're close. So he has this coffee mug that he calls well seasoned. I think that's a good word for it. Let me make sure this is it. Look at this coffee mug. I mean, he says that he has not cleaned this thing in a couple of years. So how does that work? How does that work that you have a coffee mug like this? I don't know. Now, Tim, if you're listening or you watch this later, I'm worried about you, man. Like, you got to clean that. Like, I didn't clean mine for a week. I rinsed it out last week, and I'm on day eight. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's what mine is right there from my, just rinsing. That's like a cast iron skillet right there. It's ridiculous. Tim, I'm worried about you. Greg says, I like these points you've made so far. I think I'll be using these in my call center training coming up this summer. Awesome. I mean, think about it, right? When you call, you're, and I use this example in Anomaly, when you, it's like everything possible with your cable company is just not pleasant. So when I moved out of my office and started moving and started moving to my house, I wanted to make sure that the Wi-Fi, the internet was Wi-Fi was fast enough. It wasn't. So I had to call the company. Well, I did it online. And I realized that we had a phone, like a landline phone line that was like 20 bucks a month. This is how they get you people, by the way. And they're like, you cannot cancel. And I wanted to cancel this card. And they're like, you can't cancel this online. I'm like, excuse me? Like, that's the stupidest thing. Or like, oh, well, you're going to get a, a bundle discount if you keep that phone. Like, all this stupid. Like, I don't want it. I don't use it. Like, here's here's the best advice I can give you on episode 56 of, of Zach Not Alive. When you're in a bad situation and you feel like crappy about it and you feel like people are, the customer service is terrible and you work in customer service, you have a customer service business, you are a bank teller, you work at 7-Eleven, wherever, I don't care. You, you, you see customers, you talk to customers, like do everything possible to not do what you did when you felt crappy and uncomfortable and pissed off. If you do just that, you will do just that. Take a piece of paper, create a spreadsheet, a document, a Google document, whatever, and start writing down where people suck or on the opposite side, where people are great. Because you know what will happen? You will make sure that you don't do that yourself because that is not a good thing. Like if you know where people are if you know where you feel like crap because of a scenario that you went through that you felt uncomfortable you felt pissed off you had to i don't know do something that you didn't want to write that down and make sure you don't do that yourself i don't care what type of business you work at you can be happy in it i remember before i started eating healthier i my healthy food would be subway not a lot but like Every once in a while. And so there's one right down the, out the street from me. And um, the guy there, he probably makes eight bucks an hour max, probably 35 years old. Clearly, a lot of people would say is not, you know, a happy person or is not a you know the position he wants to be in life. But he's working the subway and, and it's whatever. This man loves his career. And you can tell, right? You can absolutely understand that this guy loves what he does. He will sit there and talk with you, have a conversation with you, make sure everything is going well. When most people be like, God, I hate my job, this is whatever. Like you turn that misery, you make that misery yourself. So if you're miserable in a place, like it doesn't matter where that job goes, you're always going to be miserable. I remember when I worked in TV news and I was miserable there and I was you know, not in a healthy place in my life. However, I had to change my ways too to become more positive. And I realized that the environment that I was in was not a good one. And that helped lead to 
negativity. So sometimes it is the career, but also like understanding that, you know what, you make it what it is. And by being positive, good things happen. You know, everyone, and I think this is what this book or that book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a What? A Counterintuitive Approach to Living a Good Life by Mark Manson. It's really about that. Like, you create the life that you want. And when you're not happy, it's because you can control that or not control it. So halfway through, we'll see where that goes. So wrapping things up, thank you guys all for being with me today on the 56th edition of Zach Miller Live, episode 100 of the 1004 show. It's like my third show. I guess I have three shows. I have the TV show, I have the live show, and then I have the long form interviews, the 1004 show. Um, announcing something big tomorrow on that. Having Laura Rota from Meet Edgar. She'll be great. Is great. That was fun. I embarrassed myself a little bit. It's all good. That'll be out 10 a.m. You guys can see it here at that point. But let's think about this, right? By being positive and by being kind to others, what happens? You get cheaper coffee. Hopefully you clean your coffee mug, unlike Tim Ryan. Tim, I'm worried about you. It's okay. Tim has inspired me to do other things, including cleaning my coffee mug. And The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, a book I'm halfway through. By the way, I can read a lot more books now that I'm listening to them on the iPod. I totally recommend you guys doing it. I will get probably, I probably read four books last year, maybe. I also have issues with going cover to cover, where I'll read like half the book. But I will probably get, well... I'm one and a half, I'm a completely read one book, and I'm halfway through two other books. And then I'm going to the library today to figure out if that thing is true about this app. And if I can get free audiobooks from that, I might read a book a week. So I'm, that would get me to May, June, July, August, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So eight times four, so I would be able to get 32 more books in. So that, so 33, 34 books. It's going to be amazing. No, you can't take notes. That's what Chad Stenzel doesn't like about it. Whatever. But you can think about it. And I like it. It's been fun. Yeah, Glenn. Appreciate it. I'll be safe. Got my helmet on. I'm not leaving right now. I just want to put the helmet on. It's funny. So there we go. Be kind to others. Good things will probably happen to you and uh, don't worry about the small things that really don't matter appreciate you guys being with me today it's always fun see you guys tomorrow bright and early or late and dandy i don't know zach miller live 56 is out peace